So recently, someone asked me a question, if it's possible to record the raw footage that is coming in from your camera to the OBS software. Now, we don't want any title on it, you don't want any lower third on it, you don't want any logo on it, you just want to record the raw footage, the same quality that is coming in from your capture card down to the OBS software and you don't want any of this effect on that particular video. Okay, and I discovered a way for you to be able to do that. This doesn't mean that you can't be able to display logo on it. You can be able to display your logo and lower third and all the information on it, but you still be able to record the raw footage the same way it's coming in from the capture card without those information that you are projecting outside, maybe on your projector or to your audience, those information that they are watching. So you won't be able to see it on your raw footage you've recorded on the OBS software. So I want to show you a tricks and how you can be able to achieve this, right? So if you're just coming across this channel for the first time, remember to smash the red subscribe button below, cause to post useful content here and also turn on the notification bell because I discover a lot of people don't actually turn on the notification bell when they subscribe to the channel. You won't get notified whenever I upload new content on this channel. So to remember to turn on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you whenever I upload new content on this YouTube channel. And if you're returning subscriber, just give the video a thumbs up and let's dive in and the first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and open your browser so whichever one you're using we need to download this plugin it's called source record 0.3.2 this is the plugin that we need for us to be able to achieve this okay so it's called source record i'll also drop the link of this in the description of this video now once you get to this web page click on the download button that you've seen by the side here this download so click on the download button and it's going to load this page here. The first one is the source record 0.3.2 Linux. This one is for Linux um, users. And then the second one is for Mac OS, that's it here. And then the third one is for Windows installer, which is the one you need, not the Windows zip. So download the Windows installer, this particular one here. Okay, so download this one. And once you click on this download button, it's going to start downloading. And once you finish downloading, let's go ahead and open the folder, right? So this is our downloaded a plugin here that's a source record right click and let's extract this okay so i extract and this is it here and once you already extracted it double click on the extracted file double click and this is it here on the screen source record installer so this is it here and the next thing that you're going to do is right click and select run as administrator or open so whichever one you do is perfectly fine now you it when you take a look at this plugin you see 1.72 mb and the size of this plugin we're about to install is 6. Point, i think 6.90 gig okay so it's not a small plugin all right just right click and then either open or run as administrator so once you're done and make sure the obs software is not running once you're done installing that open your obs software and see on the sense here and also on the sources and go ahead and bring in your camera it can be your webcam or any other camera that you're making use of maybe like my phone here this is actually my phone that i'm making use of here and it's connected on my obs software using the droid cam obs this is usb okay so no wi-fi i didn't connect it through wi-fi i connected it through usb i'm also going to make a video on that as well you might be wondering why i'm wearing a different clothes today and that is because there was no power that particular day and i was unable to finish the recording that's why we are continuing today so let's go ahead and put the plugin to use and let me show you how you can be able to run it now on the obs software the camera that you already brought in you can see on the screen i'm using my phone camera click on that camera and then go over to the filter section here at the top click on the filter let me just reduce this size a bit and at the top here you see the audio and video filters and down here you're going to see the effect filters so let me just remove this and down here you're going to see the plus sign here let me just reduce this furthermore so you can see the screen clearly now down here you're going to see the plus sign here that is the add button click on the add button here you're going to see the source record this is the plugin here so if it doesn't show just do well by restarting your OBS software and you're going to see it, okay? So this is the source record here, right? Click on that and then click OK again. And this is it here. So you have the record mode, the parts, the file name formatting and also the rec format. Now on the record mode, click on that. You're going to see always streaming, recording, streaming or recording and virtual camera. Now the always one, it's anytime the camera or that particular camera that you're using or you brought in on OBS is on, and this filter is turned on that the source record 
the plugin will start recording that raw footage for you now and this is not really necessary because it's going to record some that you don't necessarily need okay and if you put it on streaming it means anytime you click on the start streaming button on obs the plugin itself will start recording the source raw footage for you and if you put it on recording it means anytime you click on start recording on obs the plugin itself will start recording the source raw footage for you also and then if you put it on streaming or recording it means either of the two that you do the plugin itself will take effect and start recording the raw source footage for you and if you put it on virtual camera it's still the same thing that's the virtual camera on obs here by the side it's still the same thing the plugin itself will start recording the raw source footage for you this is the format you want your recording to be on if you want to record on mp4 if you want the recording to be on ts you want it to be on mkv or a movie so you select whichever format that you want to make use of you can also record change the parts here on the past section and browse to a external hard drive that you have plugged in on your system that you want to record in to be saved on okay that is that so i'm going to select mp4 here and then once you're done with that the next thing that you're going to do is going to close this okay and this is how everything looks like let me go ahead and turn this off and we're going to put the plug to use so i will have a different thing on the screen here i'm just going to go ahead and click on this start streaming button here so that the recording will start immediately if you look over here i'm currently streaming and when you check on youtube this is what i'm streaming here that is my desktop pc that's what i'm currently streaming and you can see here it's live and everything is live and here too you can see i'm live here on youtube you know bringing in different thing different animation doing different effects on the screen and let's go ahead and stop the streaming okay now we'll stop the streaming oh before i stop the streaming let me also show you this is the folder here we are the recording our recording is saved on that is the any days you can see the recording is currently active that's it this is it here once here let's go ahead and stop the streaming and that will save the recording for us okay remember where i set it on anytime i'm streaming it should start recording that's the recording the camera itself okay and that is it here this is the footage it has been saved so this is the footage here the same footage i just saw now let me just double click on that and just turn down this volume here you can see this is it you can see you can see so all the effect I was popping for the past two minutes, all the effect that I was popping in on the screen, none of them actually shows. Not like nothing even appeared here on the screen. You can see. And that is it here. Now on to your last question. How about the audio? I'm using a custom audio, maybe a sound card. How do I set that audio? So the video, the source video that I'm recording will also use that particular audio and how do I set up a different audio that I want the video to be recorded on and here is how you can be able to do that now if your sound card is connected to your capture card or your audio device you're using is connected to your capture card or your video grabber the OBS source record plugin will use that audio coming in from your capture card okay and that is what is going to record alongside and if you're using a custom audio let me show you how you can also set it up as well and on your OBS software now this is my phone here just like if you're using a phone cam i'm using my phone camera here and you can see right here i have a different audio device here and that is because i'm using this mic and this mic is not connected to my phone it's connected directly to the system now what you're going to do is go over to the mic and auxiliary okay so this mic and auxiliary here click on this um, three dot line here down and then go over to properties see the property click on the properties and then from the device here you see the list of audio device that you plugged in on your system and this is this one is this particular one is if you're using a different audio device for your camera okay for your capture card you're using a sound card with different audio device that you already connected into the system so from here you'll be able to see the list of all the audio devices that are connected to your system and this particular one jack mic is the one i'm currently using that's the one on my body right now so you select the particular one you're using and click on ok now we'll selected a different audio and here we have a different camera how do you blend these two together what you're going to do is on your phone camera or whichever camera that you already brought in right click on that and then go over to filters click on the filters let me just reduce this size a bit let me just reduce it a bit and then on your source record scroll down you're going to see different audio that is it here different audio and from here you can be able to select a different track that you want it to be recorded on now the track one is the auxiliary one now, what is the ordinary one? Go over to your OBS settings here. 
and if you go over to audio you if you take a look at here you have the mic audio that is the one and then mic auxiliary audio two mic auxiliary audio three mic auxiliary audio four so you can see mic auxiliary audio one i'm using the jack mic there and then mic um, auxiliary audio two you can select a different audio you want to use for that particular one and then mic auxiliary audio three you can select a different audio you want to use for that one and then mic auxiliary audio four you can select a different audio that you want to use for that particular one as well now here the track one represents the mic auxiliary audio one and then the two represent the mic auxiliary audio two and then the three you have the four and then these two uh, five and six are the desktop audios okay and that is how it works so if you if you set your audio um if you set your audio on the mic auxiliary audio one or you set it on two or you set it on three so you can be able to select that particular one here and that, that audio that you selected is what the source record is going to record your video with okay and how about if you're using or your capture device uh, your audio is connected to your capture device or your sound card is connected to your capture device here is also how you can be able to do that particular one and while you're bringing in your camera let me use my webcam for example click on here and then go over to your video capture device here let's click on ok and uh, let's select my webcam okay i'm just going to go ahead and select integrated webcam now if you scroll down if you scroll down you're going to see audio out mode you, see, you can see the use custom audio device now this is another way for you to also map your audio and then your video you are bringing in together the two of them to be together and you can click on the use custom audio device then from here you can select the mic that you want to use now this is also great if you have a custom audio um maybe a sound card that is connected to your system and if you take a look at here you also see the jack mic here that is the one i'm currently using that's on my body here so you can also select that and this is a way for you to also bring in your custom audio on obs so if you're using your sound card or it's connected to your capture device you'll be able to also see that here as well and you can also select that now if you use this method what it means is you don't need to set start setting the use the different audio track that is right click go over to filters and then the source record here if you scroll down you don't need to set anything on this you don't need to tick this different audio because your on your camera the audio is already connected there but if you bring in your camera um separate and then your audio separate you can be able to use the different audio here okay and that is the best way for you to do that here's one thing that you should note why this plugin it's effective you can't use it to record multiple cameras at the same time but you can use it to record one at a time and it does you can use it to record be for those of you that are using obs as your mixer or are using multiple camera on obs you can be able to combine all of them all together so you have to turn it on individually on those cameras because it's an effect so you have to turn it on individually on all those cameras that you brought in so that's if you have more than one camera on obs and record them individually okay so you can combine everything at the same time now you might be wondering which one should i make use of do i should i connect the camera and the audio together or should i connect it differently for me i like to connect it different but you can also connect all of them together and that is because my audio device is separate and then my video itself as my capture card is also connected separately so the audio is not connected or linked to the capture card because i'm using a sound card this uh, focus right sound card is connected directly to the system so i bring this own audio separate and then bring in the video separate okay and that is how you can be able to set this and then you might be wondering are you experiencing any delay while you're using this no there's no delay at all all right and what i always say is when you're getting a desktop you're getting a laptop for your streaming go for the best don't go for maybe intel core i3 or core i5 fourth gen third gen no go for the best maybe six seven gen um nvidia graphics maybe two gig dedicated or four gig dedicated depending on whichever one you can go for okay so thank you very much and see you on the next one